Hey guys, Alex Allgood from Frog Productions, and right now, right here, you'll be creating one of the coolest things in the entire world in Sony Vegas, uh, intro-wise, of course. So, here's what we're going to be making. Now that was pretty awesome. I have to say myself, coming out of Sony Vegas, it's pretty spectacular. Now, uh... Uh, well, I'm gonna, this tutorial is going to be split into two parts because in that preview I used an effect only found in Vegas Pro 9. Now, uh, the one part of the tutorial will be how to create this effect in Vegas Pro 9 with that effect. And the other part will be how to create it in other, every other version of Sony Vegas uh, using the glow effect. Now, let's go ahead and put, all the th or put together all the parts that we're going to use in both parts of the so let's get started. First, we're going to need a background. Now we can go up to here, and I will be using a background from the Sony Vegas Tutorials and Essentials Pro package that you can buy at broadproductions.net, which comes with a bunch of Sony Vegas tutorials, sound effects, and textures to create your own uh, special effects, whichever uh, that you desire. But anyway, um, you can find it at broadproductions.net in the products section. But we're under the textures part of Sony Vegas Tutorials and Essentials Pro, and we're going to add in a soft ramp. And we're going to add that to the bottom layer of our video layers, and we're going to go to Event Pan Crop. We're going to go to Maintain Aspect Ratio under the Source column, and we're going to click New. No. no, I do not want to maintain aspect ratio, but thank you for asking. Uh, mm, impressions. I'm horrible at them. So, next we're going to add in our stock footage. Now, you can download this free at broadproductions.net under the downloads section. Um, yes, you do have to become a member, but it's easy, free, uh, fast, and it'll make make your friends think you're a pretty, pretty cool guy. Um, I don't guarantee that. Anyway, uh, we have one of the stock footages right here called Swirl. We're going to drag that down into Sony Vegas. Ooh, pretty. Now we're going to go and drag our background to the same length as the stock footage. And then we're going to go to this funky icon beside the level uh, scaler on the uh, stock footage uh, layer. And we're going to click it and go to Add. Now this essentially takes away all the black and leaves the white pretty. Um, then we'll add our text. So we have our third video track and we're going to go to insert text media. Now we will add our text. Bra productions. Now I have an awesome font I always use in all my tutorials and uh, it's Arial. You might need to go download it because it's a pretty rare font. Um, but you know just look at it. It gives you some great results. Um, yeah, obviously that's a joke. Not a very good one, but, uh, you know, I try. I try. So, in reality, my font is Freak Out Go Bananas, which, um, ironically, is the Chiquita Bananas font. Yeah, a little advertisement there. Anyway, we'll exit out of that. We got our text and our... All right, we'll drag the text up to the top layer, and we'll move it out to the same length and now we officially have our text and the, since the text and the stock footage is white obviously you can't see it but that'll change eventually um, like as in right now so let's go to the video effects tab and go to the glow effect and we'll add in one of the presets just reset to none which is just uh, where everything's at zero and we have some parameters to put in now for glow percent we're going to put in 0.07 and then for intensity, we're going to put in 2.75. And then for the suppression, we're going to put it on 1. Now that essentially, um, well first, let's go ahead and change the color of the glow, which will be a aqua. So go ahead and change that and you're good. But essentially suppress the glow on to off, as you can see. So we'll keep it at 1 and we'll go down here to the keyframer. 
go about six or seven in six or seven seconds into our composition and we'll drag the suppression down to zero. And so then the bra productions will show up all glowy and pretty uh, it's just adorable. And then we'll right click on the keyframe and click smooth so it will smoothly roll into the stop instead of an abrupt slam on the brakes. But we're going to go ahead and duplicate by right clicking on the layer and click duplicate track on the bra productions layer. And then on the top one that we just duplicated, we're going to uncheck the glow. So essentially we have a normal text on the bra productions. So it gives us a nice result where you can clearly read bra productions but has a nice glow in the background that we can change without changing the font and how you read it. So um, now let's change the background to the right uh, color that we want. So we're going to go to video effects and we're going to go to color curves. We're going to put in a reset to none which again is just the default values. And then we're going to go on, up here where channel, where RGB is. We'll go to the drop down menu and click blue. And we're going to drag this top one up just to give us a nice blue. Kind of looks a little purpley tint. And then we're going to go down to um, the red channel. And we're going to bring that down, which will give us a nice deep, somewhat aqua blue that will match and make it all look pretty. So we're going to exit out of that. And now this is where uh, we apart. This is where where I'm going to have to call it off. I, uh, I just don't really feel like things have been working out. I, I uh, you know, I mean, okay, there's someone else. It's Adobe After Effects. It's just so awesome. <coughs> just kidding. Sony Vegas is, is awesome. <laughs> so, um, this is where it goes into the difference of a Vegas Pro 9 user and everyone else. Now, if you don't have Vegas Pro 9, look at the annotation that will pop up right about now. Which, um, go to that time length in the video, or tutorial, and that's when your section will start. But, let's get started for Vegas Pro 9 users. Um... So this is going to be really easy. We're essentially going to add two effects. We're going to go back to the video effects tab and go to glow. And then we're going to add in reset to none on the stock footage. And then the parameters we're going to input are for glow percent 0 0.2 for in oh, for intensity we're going to put in 3.0 and then for suppression we're going to put 0 0.5. Then we're going to exit out of that, and the special effect that makes this so awesome is Glint, which is right above Glow in the Video Effects tab, and there should be a preset called Sparkle. I'm going to go ahead and drag that on there, and you can change whatever you like, but I find it just to, just everything default looks just great. So that looks awesome. Oh, and again, let's go to video, or the event pan crop on the stock footage layer. And we'll go to source, where it says maintain aspect ratio, and we'll click no. So essentially it fits our composition. So, that looks awesome. That looks great. And then the bra productions with the uh, animated suppression like we did here, really fade in. And it just, wow. Wow. My eyes, my eyes are are amazed by the beauty. Okay, back where we were before we started the Vegas Pro 9 part of the tutorial. And essentially all we're going to be doing is adding g the glow filter and dumping it on top of each other to create a pretty cool effect. So, we're going to go to the glow effect under video effects and add in reset to none. Um, and we're going to add in, or first let's change the color to the aqua blue, pretty much the same one we use for the bra productions, or the text rather. And we're going to add in these parameters, uh, 0 0.8 for the glow percent, 6.0 for intensity, and uh, 0 0.2 
for the suppression. Now, right now, it just looks like a big blue blob, but you got to deal with it. So, we're going to go to the stock footage layer, and we are going to right-click it and click Duplicate Track. And click the Effects Event Effects button, and then let's change the color to yellow. Make it a nice, solid, bright yellow. Now, we're going to keep the glow percent at 0 0.8, but we are going to change the intensity to 10.8. Oh, and then the suppression to 0 0.22. That should be good. And then let's duplicate it one more time. And then we will change this one to white. And then we will make it 0 0.9 for the glow percent. Back to 6.0 for the intensity. And... 0 0.3 for the suppression um, but that's about it if you have any questions um, go to our website broadproductions.net and uh, ask us on the form um, also subscribe if you like this tutorial because uh, I'll only be creating many many more so yeah I got everything from broadproductions.net go check it out become a member browse the website there's a lot of cool stuff you can download and see there so have a fantabulous day